Okay, everyone, here is how you can decrease iPhone picture size. Now, there are a few things or three ways how I would approach this. In case you already have a photo which is like too large in terms of the dimensions of the photo, meaning that it's like too wide or, you know, in like a weird shape that you want to cut out, what you need to do is just to click on edit, then crop and using the handles right here, you can decrease the size of this picture. But I kind of assume that this is perhaps not what you want to do. In case you want to decrease the size in terms of the megabytes, for example, you can see that this picture is like 890 kilobytes. But, you know, we, we can easily find a bigger one, right? So. If you go ahead and do this, you can see that this picture is like 2.3 megabytes. In case you want to lower down this type of size, what you need to do is to download some kind of photo compression app. So literally just open up the app store and look up photo compression or photo compress, whatever it uh, just looks up in terms of like, you know, these apps. But I would recommend you to get this one. I have some good experience with this very specific app with this blue logo and like shrinking of the image. So when you open up this app, uh, essentially you gotta just upload an image. So you're gonna select this one from your gallery and actually just find, let's say this one with 2.3 megabytes, tap on next. And in here, you can adjust the photo quality as well as dimensions. So in case you wanna lower the pixel size, you use this slider. In case you wanna keep the quality high or you know lower it, depends on what you want. I'm gonna go with this setting, I'm, then I'm gonna click on compress. There's gonna be like one ad. I mean, the app is free, so I guess I'm okay with an ad. And now the photo compression is done and the three megabytes photo turn into 142 kilobytes. So that's like how you can decrease iPhone picture size. So let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. If you found this video helpful, hit a thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'm gonna catch you in the next tutorial.